Man United have had a very quiet start to the summer transfer window, but the imminent signing of Dan James from Swansea will mark the beginning of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's rebuild this summer. And now that it's starting to take shape, we can see the principles of Solskjaer's strategy coming through. But what is his strategy? What is the plan? What changes should we expect to see? And how is he going to rebuild Manchester United? What I'm going to do in this video is focus on the principles that Solskjaer wants to implement in this new strategy and why, for me, I think it's going to help take United in the right direction after years without a true strategy at this club. Now, before we get started, if you are new to United People's TV, make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe as well. Get involved. Let's get straight into this one. Now, we all know how desperately United need to rebuild this summer. And finally, we've got some movement with Dan James. Now, for some, it's an exciting signing. A young player with talent and prospect who can grow at United, an excellent signing. For other fans, it's not ambitious enough. But for Solskjaer, it's part of a wider plan that's excellently discussed by James Robson in the Evening Standard. James discusses how Oli is focusing on rebuilding a core of youth at United and made it clear to Ed Woodward that United need to be better at spotting the next generation of stars. So that's why United are focusing on bringing in players with potential and bringing in the best of British talent. Now, it's not just the sake of buying British for the sake of it, but United previously did have a strong British core. But regardless of their nationality, it's having that strong core of players who are young with a key desire to achieve and improve. That's what Solskjaer wants to bring back into United. And Dan James is a clear indicator of that. He's a 21-year-old from the Championship who only scored a handful of goals last year. He hardly lit it up. But we've not bought him for the numbers that he has. We've bought Dan James because he fits the mould of the player that Solskjaer wants to bring to United this summer. And you can see that is the case as well when you look at loads of other players that we've been linked with. Jaden Sancho is 19, Sean Longstaff 21, Nathan Collins is 18 from Stoke, James Madison is 22, Aaron Wan-Bissaka is 21. So what we're seeing here is a clear strategy. Whether or not you agree with it is something different altogether, but it's a strategy nonetheless. And of course, youth isn't everything, because even when we had the famous class of 92, they had players like Roy Keane and Eric Cantona around them. And that's another big task that Solskjaer has this summer, because it's not just about bringing in young players and hoping that's going to revive United. We need experienced heads in as well. So that's why it's going to be such a difficult summer, because this strategy has loads of different parts to it. For it all to work together, they all need to happen at the same time. So we need those experienced signings to come in and complement the youth exactly like it did back in the class of 92, if that is exactly what Solskjaer wants to implement at the club. But Solskjaer's focus on young players who have a, a willingness and a desire to improve and better themselves, that's a strategy I can get behind because we've tried the complete opposite. We tried the Real Madrid strategy buying big names, buying established, and paying big money for it. And it just hasn't worked under multiple managers, with multiple players, hundreds of millions spent in the transfer window, and we still don't have a team. We've got some individuals, but there's no team at United anymore. And that is something that has to come back. And clearly Solskjaer feels this is the way for that to happen. That being said, I do have some question marks about Solskjaer being the sole architect of this strategy because for months we've been told that United are going to appoint a director of football. Yet there's still no appointment. What is going on behind the scenes at the club that's making them delay this decision so much? From the outside looking in, it almost feels like there's probably a power struggle going on. The fact that Ed Woodward won't relinquish all of his duties on the footballing side of things and giving it to this new director of football and the idea that they haven't been able to find the right candidate who's happy to have Ed Woodward peering over his shoulder. United need this director of football in to help Solskjaer put this strategy in place because it's a major seismic shift and change in what United have been doing in the transfer market and how we've been operating as a club. And Solskjaer, nobody is capable of doing that all on their own. They need the right structures around them. Liverpool's successes aren't simply because of Jurgen Klopp. It's because of everything that's happened behind the scenes as well. And United need to make that happen for this summer to be a success. I've said that all along. But clearly the strategy is there for it to work. And Solskjaer wants plenty of new signings. Five, to be exact. 
And I've discussed this in detail already, and Paul Hurst for The Times has gone into it in a little bit more detail. Paul says that Solskjaer wanted to get a couple of big signings like De Ligt and Sancho, but no Champions League football stopped that from happening, which is sort of understandable. I didn't think it would stop all big signings because over the years, United have been out of the Champions League and it hasn't stopped us signing big players. But maybe, maybe United not being able to sign those big players is, is going to help focus United on rebuilding from the ground up rather than looking at big signings and big names we are going to concentrate on rebuilding that core. And maybe it's a marriage of convenience. Maybe it just worked out that way. Whatever the true reasons behind United's strategy this summer, it's clear there's a strategy in place. And for me, I'm fucking happy to see that. Why? Because I'm tired of watching United. I'm tired of seeing United flounder whilst Liverpool and Man City shine. Now, some of you may call me spoiled, say, oh, it's been a few years, but you still won the Europa League, the League Cup. I know that. But we've dined at the top table. We created the top table in the Premier League. We've been kicked off it. And once you've tasted the food on the top table, nothing else compares. So United need to get back there. And that's why a new change in strategy is so essential for that to happen. Because if it doesn't, we will become Liverpool. We will just be talking about the past. And that's the truth of it. And I don't want that to happen. And that's why I'm excited by this idea of this new strategy. Of course, there's massive risk involved in Solskjaer, in implementing this new strategy, which may come across as a cliche to some. But the idea that United are going to rebuild with some of the core principles that Fergie built into the foundations of the club is the sort of thing I can get behind. It has to be done properly, it has to be implemented properly and professionally. That's the question mark. But the logic behind the strategy for me is absolutely spot on. And it's a strategy which really ties into the vision of how I'd like to see United go forward and clearly how Solskjaer sees it as well. And Dan James, he's the first of many this summer, but he's the first step in a completely different direction that we haven't seen at this club for some time. And it's the first evidence of this new strategy that Solskjaer really is trying to implement at United this summer. And I want to know from you now in the comments, do you think that strategy is right or wrong? Do you think it's going to take United in the right direction or is it going to help us sink further? I'm really interested to know where you all stand on this because it's a big shift. It's a big change. Whether or not it works, we'll see over the coming years. But for me, it's the right thing to do. I worry about United's actual ability to implement it, but the change in strategy was needed, and for me, it's the right direction. Let me know what you think in the comments, as always. If you are new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe. There's plenty more videos to watch. Until next time, take it easy.